This is Akiva Kenny Segan, and it is uh, June 24th, 2012. I uh, just came across a, um, two pages of the Jewish student newspaper. It was called uh, Kol Shalom, uh, published at uh, Southern Illinois University at Carbondale um, by the uh, Hillel Foundation Center on Campus. The editor was, um, at the time, was Rabbi Earl Vinicor of Blessed Memory. And um, <clears throat> I think it was a, uh, this uh, was published in uh, 19, December 1974 issue. I'm kind of amused on reading the text, which includes, um, um, in describing his work, Ken said, my work employs a great deal of social realism as I'm into social relevancy and communicating ideas and educating through art. I seek to continue the great work of such artists as Goya, George Gross, Daumier, Kathy Kolowitz, and the American social realist 1930s, such as Ben Shan, Reginald Marsh, and the Sawyers. Ken spent considerable time in Mexico, which had a marked influence on him. I gained great inspiration from the revolutionary mural, muralists of Mexico, such as Orozco and Rivera, and from the current political mural movement in America's largest cities, larger cities. This brings art back to where it belongs, in the streets, accessible to everyone. I'm planning on joining with other revolutionary American artists who are attempting to coordinate a national art organization of politically conscious artists Viva la Revolucion, it says. Then uh, continues with Ken Segan's work will be on display weekdays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, his work is currently on display at the SIU B'nai B'rith Hillel Art Gallery. Comes and he comes from a long revolutionary tradition. His grandparents were Jewish socialists from Eastern Europe. He studied at the Art Students League in New York City and was active in New York in the Student Mobilization Committee. Uh, and an organizer of the United Farm Workers. That should be United Farm Workers Support Committee, and that was actually, uh, uh, I actually assisted with the UFW boycotts in Champaign Urbana for the two years I lived there before I moved to uh, Carbondale when I transferred from uh, Parkland uh, Community College to uh, SIU. This is a rapidograph drawing. It's called Tree in Front of Wesley Foundation, which some years later, during my Seattle years, was purchased by the Wesley Foundation in Champaign. Um, would be interested to see if the tree is still there. This is an early linoleum block print based on a photo. It's called The Repression of the Revolution, in which uh, I depicted uh, white-looking police officers uh, 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 with uh, African-American men with their arms up like against the wall, windows of a store, you know, like they're being frisked uh, with the words insurance and a dollar sign in the store there. The uh, piece, Lenol, this is a reproduction, the original is much larger, called Vietnam, which I based on a photograph I did this, uh, actually I did all of these works while I was in Champaign between 1972 and 70, summer of 74. Vietnam, a woman about to be shot, and this was uh, called Tom Mooney, Political Prisoner, which is later reproduced uh, as a poster by the Department of English in a contest at the SIU campus. Um, the uh, linoleum block print here of Tom Mooney, I later used in a mixed media work. Here we have a, it close, almost uh, original size, which is a foot square. I superimposed the um, Tom Mooney block printed, looks like in some kind of blue ink, over, or one over the other, I forget which one I did first, over a linoleum block print I had also done in Champagne around 73 of um, the Aztec calendar stone and you can see the uh, the bars here Mooney's face here kind of coming peering out from the uh, one of the circular uh, motifs of the Aztec calendar stone there's the, uh, the and that work I did uh, my last year of graduate school 1980 at the University of Missouri 
and uh, thanks to uh, Jack Levine, the late uh, social um, conscious realist uh, satirist of uh, various things like the courts and so on, who was the juror for the West 80 Art and the Law Show. The, uh, my work was uh, accepted along with another work, an etching called The Law is the Eyes and the uh, Prisoner here. There's the uh, section with uh, Tom Mooney. Uh, was uh, purchased and is in the, the West collection. I've since heard over the years that much of the collection was sold, but I understand my work is still in the, uh, I believe, in the uh, offices uh, of West Publishing in New York. <clears throat> there you have it, a bit of a history of uh, some early uh, linoleum blocks and uh, uh, idealistic aspirations for uh, art and uh, human rights in our society. There you have it.